whoever wins the Republican runoff between Steve Marshall and Troy King will face Democrat Joe Siegelman in November's general election. The political newcomer beat his opponent in the primary by nearly 23,000 votes. It's Thursday morning at the Joe Siegelman for Attorney General campaign headquarters. Staffers are busy <laughs> making calls, pushing his message, people, not politics. Although he comes from a political family, the son of Alabama's former governor, Don Siegelman, has practiced law for the last five years. To your question of why Attorney General? When we sat down to talk, his dislike for politics came up. I view the Attorney General's office as a non-political office and I still don't like politics and I don't know that I ever will um, but I think this is the one office where it shouldn't matter whether you have a D beside your name or an R beside your name because to do this job right you have to be an independent. His campaign, he says, is focused on what he sees as the issues for the state of Alabama. Over-incarceration of prisons, the opioid epidemic, protecting the elderly from fraud and abuse, and human trafficking. I think when you, when you put the political agenda to the side and think about the issues that are facing everyday Alabamians, you're going to have the clarity to attack those issues with that new perspective of it being about people, not politics. At 29 years old, Joe Siegelman doesn't see his age as a hurdle. In fact, to the contrary. We actually have a history of, of relatively young attorneys general, um, but Bill Baxley, for example, was elected when he was 28, when Alabama was instituting a lot of policies that revolved around segregation. And we had lawsuits in place out of the attorney general's office that were designed and brought to perpetuate and further segregation in Alabama. And this young attorney general came in and said no and withdrew the state of Alabama from those cases. That was a generation ago. Still today, this Siegelman believes the majority of people in the state are ready for that new kind of leadership. Again. Now, I asked Siegelman what his biggest challenge is heading into November, and he said it's for people to get to know Joe. Uh, Siegelman says he welcomes a debate with whomever wins the Republican primary on July 17th. If you'd like more local election coverage you can count on, go to our CBS 42 News app. You'll learn about all of the candidates.